kickstart this super amazing webinar. Fantastic. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Um, I'm Singita Makwana. I am the a marketing director here in UK and Europe for NASA and Paradise Island. So we've just had a, a new directive. We're now separating the two destinations. Before it was NASA Paradise Island. Now we are calling it NASA and Paradise Island because, of course, that's what it is. So, um, and, and I'm here to give you some tips and tools ahead of the peaks booking period um, and to tell you um, what we're giving away for logging your bookings on NASA Rewards Program. So um, hopefully you, you'll all be uh, super charged, super sure. excited and uh, pitch NASA and Paradise Island uh, to your clients for 2024 holidays and beyond. So um, I'll share my screen now and run through um, a presentation. Just making sure the sound is on and... Uh, Right. We all ready to go to Nassau and Paradise Island? Here we go. So, can I get a heart from everybody, just so I know that you uh, you could see that, you could hear that um, a video. Uh, thank you. And uh, there you are, just uh, so that we're all clear. Nassau Paradise Island is very close. It's right at the top of the, the, the whole um, Caribbean archipelago. It's very close to Florida. Um, we're not one island, as you can see, we're a series of islands. It's an archipelago of around 700 islands. I look after the hotels in Nassau and Paradise Island. And I'm here, of course, as I said, to give you some tips and tools so that you can um, be confident in recommending our member hotels uh, as well as Nassau and Paradise Island to your clients for their holidays. For those of you who are in UK and Europe, we are very well served from Heathrow. Uh, you've got, of course, the six times a week direct service with British Airways. And we've got uh, three times a week uh, flights from Virgin into Nassau directly. Um, out of France, we've got um, uh, JetBlue that goes via New York. Uh, which is uh, quite a, a, a new connection, but it's super easy for you to be able to recommend that. Uh, you've also got um, JetBlue now flying out of Dublin uh, via New York, which is the same day connection. So of course, those of you um, in Ireland or those of you who sell uh, via uh, Ireland, then that's a really good option. Um, and then of course, we've got variety variety of transfer connecting flights um, the best option is, of course, via USA and also Canada. And I'll run through some of the uh, two center holiday options with you as we go through the presentation. So you've got American Airlines via Miami. Of course, you've got Virgin Atlantic, variety of uh, uh, gateways via USA. You've got Delta again via uh, you know, it's the same day connections via Atlanta. Um, and then, of course, you've got Air Canada via Toronto. Now, Toronto uh, or, or Ontario is a really good two centre. It's a unique uh, uh, two centre because I uh, think about it. You've got Niagara Falls, which is on everybody's consideration list. It's great to go to Toronto, I guess, for um, for shopping, uh, just the way it is to New York. So how about you recommend your clients to go to Toronto for shopping, go to Niagara and then have the beach holiday in Nassau. So three very, very different um, gateways. Um, now let's hop into the product itself. So, um, you know, we look after uh, um, the two main 
uh, large resort hotels, uh, which is Bahamar, as well as Atlantis, but we also have other hotels. So I will cover each of the sections and the member hotels within that section and give you some top tips of why your client should stay at one or the other or do a, a two center within Nassau and Paradise Island. So let's start with sandals. Now sandals uh, does not need introduction. Um, everybody I hope would have sold one or another sandals uh, over their, um, you know, over a period of time. Sandals Royal Bohemian has had a massive renovation uh, throughout summer of 2021, literally spent more than, you know, 30, uh, uh, million dollars and they've introduced more swim up suites more water features I was there in um, June for a little site inspection and it's looking absolutely stunning uh, and of course remember they've got that private island across and they have regular boat transfers and you know the, the beach is fantastic everywhere in Nassau um, particularly on Cable Beach the sand is really powdery and white and the water is really calm so that is given but just this whole exclusivity of you know staying at sandals royal bohemian and then hopping across to the offshore island is is, is really um special particularly for your honeymooners for your um, clients who are not only staying at sandals but who are celebrating special occasions you could also do a two center with sandals in exuma so um, that is something to consider. As I said, you could do two center within uh, the Bahamas uh, with, um, you know, a combination of staying in Nassau and then hopping across to other islands. And each of the islands will have a different uh, um, uh, terrain. So, for example, you know, Exuma has got the swimming with the pigs, which is one of the top things to do. It's a bucket list things to do. But you also have... Um, uh, you know, Grand Bahamas, you can go to Freeport and it's it's slightly cheaper there. Um, you still have the powdery sand, you've got the, the, the calm waters, but you've got things like you could do um, kayaking in the mangroves. You can um, enjoy, you know, a, a more quiet island life. You can go across to Harbour Island, which has got the pink sandy uh, beach. You can go to um, uh, Abaco, which is an eco uh, adventure destination. So there's so many combinations. So remember, it's just not one island. You can do two center within the Bahamas. Um, this is just a quick snapshot of what the um, uh, outdoor area looks like in sandals. As you can see, it's all upgraded. They've got these little food cart concept. And you'll see that in some of our other hotels as well. So it's quite nice not to, you know, uh, rush away from the beach or rush away from the pool um, area. You can just go and grab your food at one of these food carts. Next up on Cable Beach is uh, Bahamar, uh, which is a, a luxury resort, um, in, you know, on Cable Beach. Um, it's only about 15 minutes taxi ride from the airport, so really super convenient. It's about 10 minutes taxi ride into downtown Nassau. Um, so again, it's 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 a perfect location to be uh, uh, to be in to be able to explore um, Nassau. We have three hotels here. We've got uh, on the left hand side Rosewood, which is the ultra luxury hotel. It's uh, more uh, home away from home feeling. Um, those of you who sell Rosewood, you know that the clients who go there prefer the exclusivity. So just for your reference, you know, there are um, uh, butlers. Of course, there is a private entrance into Rosewood. The pool area that you see is exclusive to Rosewood, Rosewood guests. So uh, guests from Grand Hyatt and SLS can't access um, the facilities of Rosewood. Um, and it's absolutely beautiful. Then in the middle, you have uh, Grand Hyatt, which is uh, the hub of the resort. Um, this is where you have the uh, one of the largest casinos in the Caribbean. It's um, not underground. It's not in a dark space. It's right as you walk into the lobby. 
it's just there so it's um it's it's an optional thing if you if you want to gamble if you want to uh, enjoy the uh, the casino facilities then it's there otherwise you just walk through this uh, this beautiful big um glass doors into the outdoor area so as you see right in the middle if i just try and get my just here this is the entrance to come out into all of these public areas um and it's really, you know, this is where in Grand Height is where you have the jazz bars and you've got most of the restaurants there. So, again, this becomes the the, the hub of the whole resort. And then on my right is um, SLS, a really fun, quirky sort of Miami chic brand. Um, it's got a monkey bar uh, in the lobby. Uh, the the rooftop here It has the, the, the most stunning sunset. So you know you've got three very different brands but it provides you an a, a perfect uh, accommodation option for your for example multi uh, uh, multi generational um uh, clients uh, you know the grandparents might prefer to stay in rosewood whereas the, the the children you know the younger families might prefer to stay in grand hyatt um and then the the young couples might prefer to stay in sls but they can all get together in the common areas um the other a key highlight of bahamar is of course baha bay uh the water park which is you know it's compact but it delivers everything um uh, you know that you can expect from a um that type of water park you've got high adrenaline activities as well as more um lazy river type of activities so again this is included for all the guests um staying at any of these three uh, hotels this in itself provides a saving of about 160 dollars uh, per person per night um, and then, of course, you've got the mini golf course, you've got the golf course itself, which is a, um, um, it, this is a better view of the water park. You can see that beautiful stretch of beach. Um, and of course, you've got the Jack Nicholas designed uh, golf course as well here. So all in all, it's, it's, a, it's a resort. I stayed again there in June as part of a fan trip. And it was very difficult to sort of leave the resort. But we managed to go and do things downtown. We managed to go to Arawak Key, which is um, a whole street of local restaurants. Arawak Key is only about a five minutes taxi ride from uh, Grand Hyatt. So again, uh, the first question I get asked is, you know, dining at the restaurants within Bahamar, you know, is there an affordable option? Well, the food carts on the beach provides the affordable option, but it's very easy to jump in a taxi, go five minutes down the road to Arawak Key, and you've got this whole street of local restaurants, starts off with stalls, uh, uh, you know, selling things like conch salad and fritters and all sorts even rum shacks and then it, it sort of um ends into restaurants so you've got um twin brothers which is a, a really nice restaurant that i've dined at so it's very easy to get around um and it's very very safe so if you've got solo travelers or you know or or, or female travelers who might say oh no you know i don't want to leave the resort to go and experience uh, um other activities outside of the resort please encourage them to go and see it. Be ashamed not for, for them not to experience that local um, vibe. They usually have um, uh, people playing local bands there. So it's, it's a really nice vibe. A little bit of insight. I'm not going to go deep dive into each of the hotels because it's, all the information is available on our website. But just a quick summary. You've got the East Tower and the West Tower. Uh, with Grand Hyatt Bahamar, there's uh, 1,800 guest rooms, uh, so plenty of uh, capacity. So think about maybe you might have people in in the uh, in the room selling maybe le leisure groups. This is a really good opportunity um, to to pitch the Bahamar Resort. Um, SLS Bahamar, one of my favorite properties. It's very fresh. It's beautiful. As you can see, very neutral rooms. You can all the, uh, um, you know, um, most of the guest rooms sees out into the ocean. So really stunning, very beautiful uh, property. You do have um, uh, uh, suites here with um, uh, and residences which comes with butler um, uh, butler services 
and you also have one pool that's dedicated to just the suite. So that's something to, to remember. What are some of the other activities that you can enjoy in Bahamar? Yoga with flamingos. It's uh, uh, it's it's quite a, um, a you know quirky, unique thing to do here. Flamingos are uh, national birds of um, the Bahamas. Uh, there is a resident flock there. They do things like marching with flamingos. Of course, yoga with flamingos uh, is at a cost and it needs to be pre-booked. But you could literally, uh, if you wanted to take pictures with them or see them, uh, you know, interact with them, they do twice a day march, march, uh, a flamingos march. And they bring them into this lawn area. There, there is about eight of them that they bring out and you can take pictures with them. It's It's quite cute to see them. Um, for those people who are looking for something different for maybe their weddings or anniversary celebrations, uh, these flamingos can be hired to bring wedding rings or, you know, tiny presents and things like that. So that's um, that's something to think about. And as I mentioned, the Jack Nicholas um, uh, golf course, which is, a, which is royal blue, um, it's absolutely stunning. Next to Bahamar is uh, Goldwyn. This is one of our new member hotels. It's a new property uh, that opened up last year. It's studios, one, two, and three bedroom suites. This is more for, I think, people looking for quiet um, uh, hotels. It's uh, one of our boutique hotels. Uh, it's um, it, the best way to describe it. It's very quiet, but you're right in the heart of things. If you wanted to go to downtown Nassau, for example, and uh, go visit the cultural sites or the historic sites or just, you know, hang out. It's a 10 minutes taxi ride. If you wanted to go in and, and enjoy the facilities and restaurants at Bahamar, then that's a five minutes. You can actually see Bahamar from the beach here. But what you have at Goldwyn is this incredibly beautiful, calm um, a beach area. You've got one restaurant, you've got a beautiful spa here. So maybe for people who are looking for quiet uh, um, hotel options or people who are independent travelers or people who've been uh, multiple times to Nassau, this would be a really nice option. It's It's amazing. Some of the things to do in downtown Nassau um, or some of the things to do in Nassau, of course, Nassau used to be the pirate capital. So there is a, um, you know, still uh, amazing historical sites you can visit. There is lots of museum. The street art scene in Nassau is actually pretty good. But some of the organized activities is what I'm going to mention. You can go to um, uh, the Junkanoo Educational Museum, which is fantastic. So Junkanoo is our version of Carnival. You can learn to, um, you know, when you visit Junkanoo Museum, you can see how they make the mask. You can understand the whole story behind Junkanoo. Uh, so that is one of the, the um, top tips for your clients is that if they're looking to do something um, in Nassau, then the Junkanoo Educational Museum uh, is is great. Uh, you've also got the Pirates Museum. It dates. It has a really good history uh, representation of the whole history. So that's one of the other uh, museums that you want to recommend. And there's quite a few in that area. One thing to mention to your clients is it's very easy. Once you're in downtown, it's very to, very easy to walk around. So a walking tour of Nassau is highly recommended. You can do it as an organized thing, or you could just literally, like I do, take a picture of Google Maps and walk around and pop in and out of the distilleries, the bars, the local restaurants, go and have ice cream or go to the Totugar um, rum cake uh, uh, shop and try out some samples and buy a little cake for myself. You can just hang out on the waterfront. This is where you have the straw market. So it's quite nice to maybe uh, go to um one of the distilleries that uh, one of the uh, the bars that's uh, at the harbor front and you can see all these cruise ships coming in and when there is cruise ships um in um in the harbor it's really lively you've got you know um these tall uh, stalls pitched out 
um, by the uh, uh, by the walkway, uh, and they you know you've got all these artisans selling their their stuff, so you don't have to necessarily go into the straw market because of course our straw market is undercover and it can get busy when you've got six ships on um, in port. But it creates this amazing outdoor vibe. You will have people, you know, Margarita will, will have like outdoor dining. You'll have Senior Frog uh, offering outdoor dining as well. So it's a really, really nice vibe. So if you've got people, you know, your clients who want to enjoy the destination, enjoy um, the, you know, get under the skin of the destination, then it's a really nice, nice time to, to be there. The other thing I would recommend is um, the chocolate factory at Greycliff. Now, Greycliff is one of our member hotels um, and the Artisans Chocolate Factory is one of the, um, the recommended um, activities to do. It does get booked pretty quickly, particularly in, in peak time. So remember to pre-book that for your clients. Um, the John Watlins Distillery is actually free to tour around. And then there is a cafe there and a bar. So your clients can do a free tour, try out a few samples um, and, uh, you know, have a drink uh, at the bar and get some some nice uh, conch fritters from the from the food cart outside. So these are some of the top tips I'm sharing with you for your budget savvy customers. Of course, for your clients who um uh, you know, money is not an object. They might decide to book a table at uh, Great Cliff um, and enjoy one of the you know exclusive bottles of wine from their cellar. Now, Great Cliff has got the largest, third largest private collection of wines in the world, so there is plenty, and it also has one of the most expensive bottle of um, wine in the world, valued at two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. So, of course, you can see it's quite easy to spend money in Nassau. Um, it isn't the cheapest destination, but it is an aspirational destination. And I'm sharing some of the tips here to help you um, uh, help your budget savvy customers. So I've just mentioned, you know, go into uh, the John Watlins distillery. It's a free tour around. You know, you could jump on a a foodie tour, for example, and that's $35 per person. And they will walk you around the whole of downtown Nassau, point out all the historical buildings, point out all the you know cultural vibes there, and you're visiting all these local restaurants and trying out food. Uh, so you can do Nassau, um, uh, you know, not quite on a budget, but you can be savvy about your budget then. So here's some of the, the snapshots. The Queen Staircase is um, something that w is one of the top historical sites to visit. Uh, Nassau and Paradise Island Promotion Board um, are the sponsors now. So we're going to be taking care of this uh, the staircase. So you will see enhanced features in the future. So it's another thing to look out for for your clients. So we're now going into downtown Nassau. So remember I said that um, you know we've got this this um, downtown Nassau is quite easy to walk around. So behind Margaritaville, where you're seeing all the the palm trees and all that, sort of this is where is the start of downtown Nassau, and it is you know stretches all the way at the back. So if you've got clients staying at Margaritaville Beach Resort, uh, they can literally step out of their um, their resort and they're in downtown Nassau. So it's quite easy to walk around. You can actually be on the beach and you'll see the cruise ships pulling in. Um, so it's, it can't get any more, um, uh, you know, downtown location than staying at Margaritaville. You would have heard of, of course, Margaritaville, the bar. But this is the, and you may be selling the the uh, hotel in other parts of uh, the Caribbean. But Margaritaville opened up two years ago in Nassau, and it is doing incredibly well. For those agents who are in um, UK, they have now introduced an all inclusive uh, concept for twenty twenty four. So that is amazing. So make sure that when you're doing a price court, check for that all inclusive option because. Although I genuinely think you don't need an all-inclusive to be in this location. You can just step out and you've got Senior Frog and you've got a lot of local restaurants. 
our clients here in the UK like the concept of all, in all inclusive. So therefore they've introduced that. It's fantastic. You've got um, then uh, a water park as well in Margaritaville. So um, again, for your families, young families, this is fantastic. You've got, of course, the, the, the quiet beach as well um, and the central location. Great Cliff, I already mentioned, it's a small hotel. It's only about 21 rooms, but it's a hotel with a big personality. Um, the restaurant is a fine dining restaurant. So again, if you've got uh, people celebrating special occasions or looking to dine somewhere special, but want something different than maybe um, Mahamar or Atlantis uh, restaurant choices, then the Great Cliff restaurant is really good. Um, and it's the service is amazing. The food is amazing here. And there again is a picture of the um, the, the wine cellar. So we're going across now to Paradise Island. So Paradise Island is connected via a jet bridge. So before we step into Paradise Island, there's a couple of things I'd like to mention to you. Under the bridge of um, uh, under the bridge as you cross over to Paradise Island, there is an area called Potter's Key. Again, this is another area where you have these local restaurants and stalls. So if you've got clients staying on Paradise Island or staying in Nassau or you know, downtown or Cable Beach. It's a quick taxi ride to go to Porter's Key. Mackenzie's is um, uh, famous for conch salad. Now, conch is a, a, a local delicacy, it's sea snails, and they prefer it like a ceviche style, and it's amazing, and, and Mackenzie's serves the best. So, again, another top tip for you to share with your clients. Try and go in uh, either to Arawak Key, what we call fish fry or go to potter's key so into uh, paradise island now paradise island has got more a resorty vibe um other than our member hotels we do have other hotels here you you may have sold some of them but everybody tends to congregate in this area which is the marina area um and it's got a really nice vibe the whole area has got a really nice resort feel you'll see people walking around you know cruise ship passengers will will jump on a on a bus or taxi and come here as well just to enjoy that marina vibe twice a week um, on a Tuesday and Thursday, they do half an hour junk canoe parade. So again, it's nice to remember that, nice to encourage your, your clients staying at other hotels or other parts of um, Nassau to come and enjoy that vibe. It is really, truly um, quite special. So within Atlantis, of course, you've got four hotels. You've got right at the top is the Reef. Now, Reef has got... Um, well, I call an apart concept. So there is the rooms have got a small kitchenette. So if you've got anybody with small children, you know, babies, for example, uh, or people who have special dietary requirements, they would probably appreciate you recommending that. Um, they do have a restaurant, of course, and they have access to all the restaurants within the resort. But it's quite nice uh, if they've got that special uh, requirement to be able to have that kitchenette. Next to the reef is the cove, which is, uh, of course, um, uh, amazing. It, you will see that in front of the cove, you've got this two beautiful stretch of beaches. Now, that is exclusive to the guests of uh, Cove and uh, the reef. It's quite close to Equaventure, but when you are actually staying in the cove, um, you know, the, the view out, particularly if you're on the other side of uh, um, the, the view of Equaventure, it's really quiet and it's quite uh, serene and peaceful. Um, but yet you literally a five minutes walk into Equaventure. And then remember, you've got this this quiet piece of beach um, <clears throat> that's exclusive to your clients. And they also have their own pools that are exclusive to the reef and the cove. Um, right in the middle is, you, you can't miss it, it's the Royal. And this is where it's the hub of the, the resort. This is where you've got uh, the casino. You can walk out and you've got all the pools and the, the beautiful beach. And then right at the bottom, <clears throat> I seem to have a frog in my throat, excuse me, um, the coral. So the coral is the leading property. 
It had a big refurb a couple of years ago. It's looking absolutely stunning. It's got this really nice, relaxing vibe. Um, it's really ideal for families, just as you, you see these pools here. You've got the Predators pool. Some of you who um, are on Instagram, you'd have seen these rope bridge and these underwater uh, water tunnels. That actually all is here in the coral. And then you've got this piece of uh, beach there. If you didn't want to go to this big beach area, you actually have this lagoon beach area that's quite nice for little kids. Um, and you know that they can't go very far in the water here is really, really shallow. And you just walk over the bridge and you're into the Equaventure. So it's really a good um, uh, you know, hotel to recommend within Atlantis. And you've got about 21 restaurants in the marina area. So everybody can join in, everybody can enjoy. If you don't want to dine within your hotel, you've got that whole um, uh, um, marina area access. Um, so just to summarize, um, you've got 19 bars, you've got 141 acres of EcoVenture. What I didn't mention, and I need to go back, is of course you've got... Um, the dolphin key this is where they've got the rescued dolphins and you can do a variety of things you can do dolphin encounters there's a really nice story behind all the dolphins the marine biologists here are actually helping with the data that they're collecting they're helping um, with the conservation efforts there's a amazing sustainability story behind it as well so you know do give it a little uh, little uh, thought when you get resistance from your customers, uh, you know, there is it, there is genuinely a, a good story behind um, what they're doing with the marine uh, habitat here. And then, of course, you've got the largest marine um, uh, habitat in um, the dig. So you've got over 50,000 marine animals and it's quite nice. Um, for children particularly to go down and learn around, learn about the marine animals. There is a whole research and conservation uh, department there. There's about 14 lagoons, so you can see the little turtles, you can see the hatchlings, um, you know, you can see the stingrays, you can see the sharks being fed. So really, it is a fantastic, fantastic family um, product. Just a quick insight, you can see that the royal rooms are newly uh, renovated. They're looking really stunning. It's all fresh decor. Uh, of course, the famous lobby and uh, the whole story narrative behind Atlantis. Um, so, you know, it's it's a it's it's a quite a um, um, nice resort to be part of because you've got access to so many things. There's the coral again, beautifully renovated rooms. Uh, little cabanas for those families. Um, you have to pre-reserve them. So that's another tip for your clients. Um, and then you've got the beautiful cove. You can again see on the left-hand side here, the, the two beach areas that are exclusive. And these, these pools are exclusive to the guests of the, uh, the cove. The reef, here you are. You can see the, the kitchenette on the side. Um, and the rooms are quite big, so you can see that that is also a sofa bed. So it's really a nice option for, um, as I mentioned, particular clients. Comfort Suite is a small hotel, again, with uh, some amazing benefits. It's right next door to Atlantis. Um, it has breakfast included. The reason I highlight this is that most of the member hotels that I mentioned apart from Margaritaville the rates are room only and breakfast is not uh, uh, not uh, uh, necessarily included but with comfort suite breakfast is included it's hot and cold breakfast but the top tip here is that if you've got clients staying at comfort suite they have full access to Atlantis included in that price so your clients just need to come and sleep here. They can go and spend the whole day enjoying Equaventure, enjoying the dig, enjoying the beautiful beaches uh, and all the facilities that is there at Atlantis without actually paying the price of staying at Atlantis. It's really, really a good product. It's only 44 rooms. It's very popular. You will also see that the rooms are huge. 
can take up to five adults here. Uh, so think about a family of five, uh, maybe teenagers. The teenager can go on to the sofa bed if they wanted a little bit of, you know, um, separation. So it really is one of the top member hotels to recommend for your budget savvy customers. And again, it's got one restaurant, um, uh, which is by poolside and the whole marina is a five minutes walk. Literally, you cross the road and the marina is there. Um, and then remember, they can walk down to Porter's Key as well and enjoy local cuisine if they wanted to. And by the way, the marina has got fine dining restaurants as well as more affordable restaurants. So if you think about, for example, Cafe Martinique, it's a it's a French restaurant that's fine dining. But then on the other side, you've got Bimini, which is a Caribbean cuisine, or you have uh, more affordable things like Burger Shacks and uh, Mackenzie's as well. So it's not you don't have to have masses of money to actually go and enjoy the restaurants uh, in the marina area. <clears throat> The Ocean Club now is right at the top of the pecking order. Any of your Bond fans must stay here because we've had uh, four Bond movies shot here. You will remember this lobby from um, Casino Royale. Uh, so it, it truly is a beautiful, beautiful hotel. It's one of the oldest um, hotel buildings in Nassau. Uh, but it is absolutely stunning. It, every time I go there, I'm amazed at how well the, the, the property is kept. The service level is amazing. You will see that, um, you know, the rooms are, are beautiful. For your exclusive clients, a um, couple of tips here. There are three exclusive villa products. So if you've got clients who perhaps prefer the, uh, the exclusive, exclusivity, you've got maybe clients who um, like the villas, then uh, the Ocean Club is one to recommend. Top tip is book well in advance because this product gets sold out very, very quickly. Again, you've got a, a few um, uh, pool areas, but the Cloister Garden is beautiful backdrop to any weddings or special celebrations. So if you've got anybody here um, who specializes in weddings, resort weddings or um, special celebrations, vow renewals, whatever, just a photo shoot as well, then uh, you know the Cloister Gardens are absolutely stunning. This is um, a more local feel, local, um, uh, a small uh, hotel on Paradise Island. As you can see here, it's got a beautiful stretch of beach. Um, again, it's um, it's a villa concept. It's a small hotel, so the villas get, it's very popular, gets sold very quickly. So if you've got clients who are perhaps a, a budget savvy, then this is a good one for, for you to recommend. Um, they'll, again, be able to use all the facilities at uh, the marina. They don't have access into into Atlantis, but they can buy a pass, which is I think hundred dollars per person if they wanted to go and enjoy uh, Aqua Venture. Bayview Suite is again a local. Um, uh, it has got a local feel. It's locally owned, um, and it's got three, four, and five bedroom villas uh, and suites. So they can be hired out individually or as a whole unit. So again, they create a really nice local vibe. There's always there's a um, there's one restaurant and they always have entertainment there. Uh, they try and create a really nice homey vibe. So again, if you've got people with staying in 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 um, the Bahamas for a longer period of time, then this is a really good option. So that kind of sums up our member hotels. I wanted to uh, now talk a little bit more about what we're doing to create the demand, uh, where you can find content. A lot of you do your own social media. You know, where are you going to get, where are you getting your content from? Images, you know, the narrative, the storylines. I wanted to share some of these things with you. Um, number one is nasoperdasisland.com. It is full of content. It's got lots of blogs. It's got some, some stunning images. So it can help you do your own posts. Follow our social media channels. So I've put Facebook and um, Instagram, but actually YouTube has got some stunning videos of uh, uh, some of the campaigns we've run. 
right now we've got three influencers, uh, local influencers that are creating some incredible content. Um, just to give you an idea how well the content is doing, it's received over 6 million views since its launch about six weeks ago. Um, so we've got three influencers. One is focusing more on uh, the foodie scene in Nassau, including our member hotels. Um, you've got one who is doing all the history and culture um, sites. And the third one, who is who is a younger of the three influencers, she's doing all the adventure stuff. So she's doing diving and she's, you know, j jumping uh, on ferries and going across. So follow that narrative, follow the, the, the content because you will benefit from using some of it to push Nassau and Paradise Island. For those of you, the other side of the pond in um, North America, we have um, a year's residency of Times Square and we are running a, um, a holiday seasons uh, creative at the moment. And I've put that here. So, you know, you can see it's it's a fantastic play of words uh, for those of us here in UK and Europe. We're using some of that content to do our social uh, campaigns here. So I've got at the moment um, um, a, a Dynamo Videos, which is a YouTube based um, uh, behavioral campaign going out there. So there is a lot of inspirational stuff going on. We've invested in a lot of marketing to drive that demand. Now we're relying on you as our, our trusted agents to actually convert uh, that booking. And I hope that some of the tips that I've shared today has helped change that perspective of how you can position um, Nassau and Paradise Island, which properties would be best suited for your, which customers. But I am here, uh, you know, we we are you can reach us through Nassau Rewards Program. I will share my with my follow up. I will share my email details. So if you need any uh, clarification, if you need any help, any questions you have, please reach out to us um, and we can help you with with um, answering those. If you haven't signed up to NASA Rewards, oh my God, what are you doing? Go sign up right now. As we approach into the peak booking period, we will be doing our double rewards um, uh, um, promotion. We will also be selecting one person from our top seller to join us in June for a fan trip, uh, which usually is about um, seven nights stay. We not only do Nassau and Paradise Island, but we tend to take you to another island courtesy of the Bahamas Tourist Office. And this year, 2024, it's Exuma. So this is your chance. If you ever wanted to swim with the pigs, Go and sell Nassau and Paradise. I, I me too. <laughs> um, uh, you know, go and sell our member properties. I've given you lots of tips. There's lots of contents to help inspire your customers. Um, go and sell so that I can then take you on a fan trip to uh, Nassau and Paradise Island and also Exuma the next year. So that's me. Um, I think I um, have pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover, but uh, over to you, Sarah. Super, thank you very much, Sangeeta. We've just got a couple of questions that have come in for you in the Q&A. Um, <clears throat> the hotel map that you were showing at the beginning, is it possible to include that in your follow-up? Yeah, absolutely. But I, I've literally just grabbed it from um, uh, from Google Maps. Um, it, it, but but not a problem. I will make a note and I will share that as part of my um, follow-up. Not a problem, Deborah. Okay, super. Um, Deborah's asked, what is the entrance fee for the Jukanu Educational Museum? Do you have any idea? Um, it, it's not very expensive. I want to say it's about $16, but don't quote me on it. I will go and check it or I will share the website for it. Okay, It's not super. very expensive at all. Um, the water park on Bahama and Margaritaville, is it for guests only or is it also available for other visitors? It is available for other visitors. Uh, you have to pre-book it. Uh, so day passes are available at all the three water parks. You just need to pre-book it because if the occupancy is high, then the number of passes available are minimal. Uh, but particularly for your um, cruise guests, if you sell cruise, then 
pre-book because that Margaritaville water park gets full very quickly. Okay, super. Um, do the Rio properties qualify for rewards? They're not our member hotel, so no, they don't. Okay, super. Um, is Nassau Rewards available to US agents? Not yet. We're working on it. We're we're pushing for it, and we hope that um we will have some update for you very soon. We'll literally keep on pitching it. So I think we're we're close. We're close. As soon as it's launched, you'll hear about it. Super. Um, Amy's asked a question. Um, but I don't know which. I don't know which. Question. Yeah. What was the what name was... of the restaurant, Amy? Can you just tell us, uh, what part or what hotel you're referring to? <laughs> Um, okay, Deborah's got asked a very good question. What is the that's US a people? very Nassau and um, Paradise Islands in comparison to other Caribbean islands close by? So, yeah, how can you sell it over right. another island? Right, perfect. That's a really, really good question. So, number one, it's very, very safe. Um, it, it's the, the proximity of you know, everything is very close by. So Giving an example of me traveling uh, uh, alone, um, I can jump on a local bus, Jitneys, called Jitneys. It's $1.50, so very affordable. I'm a budget savvy traveler. Um, by the way, I've worked for 10 years with, um, with Air Jamaica, so I know the Caribbean very well. I know all the other islands, or most of the islands very well. I can't jump on, I would not want to jump on a, a, a local bus anywhere else. But in, in Nassau, I would jump on the local jitney and I would go to downtown Nassau. I would be out late. I would have no issues with that. I would walk to my resort. I would have no issue with it. What I also have in Nassau is I have a choice, a huge choice of things I can do. If I just want to be on the beach, a quiet beach, I will find that. I don't have to be surrounded by hundreds of guests. I like my creature comfort. So if I wanted to stay at a really nice hotel, I can stay at a nice hotel, but I would have no problems walking out of the door and having full access to downtown Nassau. Point per case, if I stay at Margaritaville, I'm getting all my creature comfort. I've got my water park, but I don't need to get in a taxi to go to downtown Nassau to walk around on my own go to the distillery, go to the uh, um, Great Cliff, you know, go up to um, uh, John Watlins, which is about a, a 20 minutes walk from um, Margaritaville. I would have no issue with that. It's, 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 crime is quite low. Uh, I can again jump in a taxi and go across to Paradise Island and it's a completely different island vibe. So you're getting a lot of island vibe in, just Nassau, but Nassau is the capital city. What you can do, though, is maximize on your mileage because from Nassau, you can hop across to all these different islands. So island hopping is very easy. And it's it's you can go to 14 different islands with completely different terrain. So that is your USB. That is and Bahamas is literally that the water is so calm. Sand is absolutely powdery white. So. It's, um, you know, you have a lot of things. It punches a, a big, you know, it, 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 it has a lot of uh, things that cater to a lot of people. And we have so many flights, direct flights into Nassau. So hopefully that gives you a small, small insight. And the pigs. Oh, okay. It's Mackenzie. So, so the area, Amy, is called Potter's Key. And um, it's the seafood, um, the, the famous seafood restaurant is Mackenzie's. And Mackenzie's has got, it's not quite a restaurant, but it's stalls. There is a, a Mackenzie's stall in um, Potter's Key as well as in the marina. And the yeah. area where you have all these local restaurants is, is uh, Arawak Key or Fish Fry. But you will see me cover that in my, my um, follow-up. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, we don't have any more questions. So now we've right. got a time of the day where we, we ask you a question. So Sangeeta um, has been thinking while she's been doing her presentation of a question that she's covered. So if everybody can go to chat, 
just as a reminder, everybody on the webinar gets a prize draw entry. If you answer and are the fastest finger with the correct answer, you will get 10 entries. I mean, I'll put you in my magic wheel and let you know the winner tomorrow. So, Sangeeta, what is your question, please? The new member hotel. Can you remember where this new member hotel is placed? Can you remember where the new member hotel is placed? Maybe that is a very hard question. Any correct so far? Yes, yes. Hmm. Okay, so we have a we have a winner, as in you've you've seen one. So what is the correct? I have so so Chrissy got it right, but she said Cable rather than Cable Beach, uh, and we've got Neil who said Cable Beach. So I think that we need to we need to make an exception and give them both ten spins. Okay. Is that all right? So well Chrissy. done, Chrissy. Well done, Neil. Neil. Okay, super amazing. So I will let you know the winners tomorrow. Um, I'll send you the copy of the recording and Sangeeta will send you a follow-up. Follow um, a big thank you to everybody for joining us. If you've got any further questions, reach out to Sangeeta. If you're in the US, um, she can put you in touch with the relevant teams. Yeah. Uh, if I don't see you all before, have a great holidays. Um, but I'm sure we'll see you next week. So we've got a couple of webinars. Um, and Sangeeta, thank you for your support and thank you for loving the trade. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We love the trade. And like I said, we rely on um, on the trade to help us fill those aeroplanes and fill our member hotels. So we truly, truly appreciate all the support. Um, uh, thank you, everyone, for showing up today and happy holidays. Um, um, and I look forward to doing business with you next year. Thank you, thank as you always, Sarah, for all your help. You're um, very welcome. And happy holidays to you, too. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Bye.